me and I was like, stop, walk past this bitch. You should not help me, y'all. So then I walk over there and I try to help her. And I said, what's going on? And I see the little boy in the back seat in his car seat. And he pressed up like this and shit all up in his car seat. And I was like, what happened? Oh my God, let me help you get him out. So I was like, let's take off his pants. Why am I taking off his pants? They got nothing to do with the car seat, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm going to tell you I was day drinking. So you know, I said, take off his pants. She did it. I was like, she's stupid. That's why. They run the fucking house. She's stupid. So she takes off the damn pants. The little boy's screaming. He's crying. And then I go over there and I say, oh my God. Um, you know what? Let me go in the house and get some scissors. Why am I going to get some scissors? You know, to cut the car seat off of him. I was day drinking. You know, it sounded like a good idea. So then I went inside. And then I came back out and I said, you know what? Let me call my friend. My friend, she came from next door. She took the little boy out. <laughs> Put his ass right in front of us. We both was amazed. He was like, oh my God! How did you do that? She's stupid and she got baby kids. That's how they keep multiplying because the boyfriend knows she's stupid. You know what I mean? So I hate all them kids in my complex. I hate every last one of them. So I went on my worst date ever. I'm dating at 46 years old. This junk is awful. It's like sucking an Eminem through a straw. Got my visuals, you know what I'm saying? It's delightful, yet concerning, you know? That shit happens. So I went out on this date, and we went to Buffalo Wild Wings, right? So I'm at Buffalo Wild Wings, because a bitch gotta eat, you know? So I'm drinking my beer, and eating my wings, and everything, and he says, I like your lips, and I was like, oh, you got a phallic disorder, you know? So then I said, oh, and okay. then he starts to tell me his whole life story. As he tells me his whole life story, I'm like, dude, we don't do that on first dates. You know, it's just don't do that. Then he said, I have ED. I said, oh, he's educated. <laughs> I can't make this up. This really happened to me. So then he slides over his cell phone and shows me a picture of his apparatus. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> and it had, it was a PVC pipe with batteries at the bottom. I can't make this shit up. I thought I was at Home Depot. You know what I mean? So then I get over there and he says, you know, it takes me 30 seconds to a minute to get it together. I was like, why are you telling me this, dude? I'm not going to be there for that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to see that 30 minute thing. I'm not going to see you get up there. So then we, I try not to choke on my beer and wings. We hug it out. I leave and I block it to leave him. You know, that's rightfully so. But I was thinking, like, damn, this chit chat, damn, this Alnisa. You kind of hooked him up with a chick that had, like, an equal dysfunction. You know, she needed super KY jelly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she needed the uh, wet, wet 2000. You know what I mean? Could have hooked him up. I could have found him. I know she fucking out there. Is that you, sis? Is it you? Oh, is it you? Oh, okay. We talk afterwards. I still got his number. You know what I mean? So, my other thing I was doing, I went to Virginia, and Virginia is three hours away. Why the fuck y'all ain't tell me that? You know what I'm saying? I'm originally from New Jersey. This shit, they be like, oh, it's just right down the road. That's so fallacy. This shit's not right down the road. It's an hour or 45 minutes away, at least. But this was three hours. So I get it over there to Virginia, and my girlfriend gets me a special cookie. So I eat this special cookie. It was red velvet. And I'm standing there, and it started to rain. So I was like, oh, I'm going to go upstairs and get my umbrella. By the time I got out of the elevator, the special cookie kicked in. I'm standing with my key card at my door. The shit is green. And I'm like, the door is so open. Why is the door not open? It's because I'm fucking fucked up. You know what I mean? So then I finally push the door, and I get on the inside. And I sit on the bed, and I was like, jump into the sleeping place. And I was like, damn, this bed is amazing. Oh, my God. And then 10 minutes go by, 15 minutes go by, my girlfriend calls me on the phone, and she said, bitch, where you at? And I was like, I am not going. I'm going to stay here in the sleeping place. You know what I mean? Six hours go by, I wake up and I'm hungry. You know, don't eat cookies out of state. That's all I'm telling you. That's the moral of the fucking story, okay? Don't eat them out of state. Don't eat that out of state cookies. So, 
You ever thought about the old time sayings that everybody used to say to us, our parents and everything? They used to say, a penny for your thought. That. I need inflation. I need some like pennies, twenties. We're just going for forty dollars now. You know what I'm saying? I need some more stuff. So then, you what about piss like a racehorse? Somebody measuring that shit? You came up with that. You know, robbing Peter to pay Paul. They sound like they was both rich. I should rob both of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why are we doing that? And since I have a little melanin in my skin. Back in the day, my mom and my dad used to say, I'm gonna beat the black off you. I ain't know what color I was gonna be, but I believe that they could do the same thing that they said. You know what I'm saying? It sounded feasible back then, you know? Or, when they said it was gonna knock you into next week, I was thinking, can it be on a Friday so I can have a free day? You know what I mean? What's the shit I be thinking of? All these dumbass things that, you know, they came up with. So, I also got, I have this friend. And one of my friends, she has a daughter that's autistic, just like me. So she always tries to tell me all these different things about her son, and then I tell her about my daughter. But I think this story actually, be, you know, does it all. So my daughter, she has autism. I put, I have another typical little daughter too. If I put them in the same room, y'all wouldn't know which one is which. You know what I'm saying? They're crazy. They're both crazy. So then I get in there, and my daughter. We're walking through Target, and my daughter sees these two women, and they have the hijab on, and Muslim, and my daughter leans up and said, ninjas. <laughs> I see the lady, I know she heard it. I said, oh, I'm so sorry, my daughter has autism, blah, 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 and I started to explain. So I explained to my daughter, that's their church out.